We tell stories on this program every week about the farmers and ranchers that grow the food that goes on your table every day. However, we wanted to show you a way that you can grow your own food in this food themed episode. That's what Twyla's Carl Wiggers is up to this week with one part science project, one part do it yourself and one part gardening. I surely hope all of those will add up to a backyard hydroponic garden that will bring Carl and the rest of us around here a huge harvest of lettuce that he can share. Hey guys, I'm here in Ravel, Louisiana at the Richland Parish Produce and they're actually building a new greenhouse right now. It's another adding to the four that they already have. They actually have two more on their way. So they're really expanding here and I wanted to learn how to do the same exact thing in my backyard. The hydroponic lettuce is what I want to grow. So today I'm here in Ravel and Mr. Rory is going to teach me how to make that happen. Here are all the parts that I'm going to need to build my own hydroponic garden in my backyard. So as Mr. Rory walks us through all the steps at his greenhouse, I'm going to follow all those steps in my backyard, putting together my hydroponic system. We're gonna start with building the crate that it's gonna set on the box, and we will do it by cutting four pieces of two by four, 28 inches long. That will be the first thing we would do. All right, let's mark, we cut to 48 inches. These will be the top rail to the box. Let me two of the short ones down, let's lay a, a long one across the top of it. And we're gonna connect them too. We're building a, a table to set these on. And that way we won't have to build saw horses and we save a little bit more money. Most important is building this level. It maintains constant level in the pipes. We take a 10 foot waste pipe, we will cut this bale off, then we cut it in half and it comes out to be four foot 10 inches. That's what we have on the table with four foot 10 inch sections. Once we get a section cut, we drill using a regular hole saw, we drill three inch holes in this. These are spaced seven inches and it gave me an overlap on each end. Now is that seven inches from center to center? Center to center. When you're drilling these, sometimes it's easier to drill them in reverse. We're gonna use regular band strapping. Put this right here and attach it. Put a short piece of two by four between them. All the ends are gonna be exactly alike. Now we're going, when we get through with this, we're gonna run PVC pipe. All right, so the way my system is gonna be set up, it's gonna come, the water is gonna come in on this pipe. It's gonna come here into this pipe, all the way down, it's gonna come back down this pipe, and then I'll come back around here. So all I'm gonna need here is two connectors to go from each of these sets so that water will just continuously flow through all four of these pipes. We will take a piece of uh, three quarter inch PVC. We're going from one end of the pipe with three quarter to the other end. And that maintains a, about a good inch and three quarter level in that pipe for fluid. These are gonna go in here like this. And then this one's gonna go in here like this. Just like that. On this first one, we're gonna make it for the input of using a rubber hose. This is a fountain pump, runs 24 hour continuously, and it will set down in the tank, and you'll connect this hose to it, run to your input section. And then when you go to your output, we're gonna come out and go straight down and run a pipe straight down into your tank box. So here we are now in my backyard. I've got my system set up. It's running, water is flowing through it. There's still a few things to tweak make sure it's perfectly balanced because that will help the water to flow evenly, but it works. Water flows through all four pipes and I'm excited about that. I'll be posting updates over the next few weeks as I start to get vegetables in this system. Some lettuce, I got butterhead, red butterhead, green butterhead, and romaine that I'm gonna try out. I've already got those seeded. So hopefully in the next few weeks, we'll start to see some progress flowing through my hydroponic system. For This Week in Louisiana Agriculture, reporting from my own backyard, I'm Carl Wiggers. Interesting list there. I didn't see any lettuce in those pipes yet, but that system has room for 56 to grow at one time. It's a lot of greens. Carl wrote a blog post outlining some of the details and some of the headaches of this DIY project and posted that on our website at twilighttv.org. But he's really handy. 
built his own desk here he, at the yes, office. Yes, he, he is. So I'm, I'm really curious to see how this comes along. Well, you said you didn't see any heads of lettuce yet. Well, that would mean he would be part magician because he <laughs> just did it two days ago. That would be some magic lettuce beans. You have to have them growing real fast. Yes. After the commercial break, we're going to fire up the flux capacitor and go back in time. Dramatic much. <laughs> On this month's Field to Feast, we will be going to a classic setting you won't want to miss. Stay with us.